Scrap Co. I'm Crazy Dave and uh, this is going to be a review of the Eclipse ROM for the Droid Charge on the FP1 update which is the latest from Verizon. Uh, I'm also going to show you a quick bit on how to flash it over via Clockwork Mod. Alright everyone, this uh, ROM's been pretty sweet so far. It's relatively fast. I've had great battery life with it. Pretty snappy. Alright, some of the other things that I like about this ROM include the uh, scrolling wheel and the applications page. It's pretty neat how it just scrolls over the top like you find in most of the Nexus model phones. Uh, the colors, they went all out in the colors. That probably stands out more to me than anything else. You're going to see custom, uh, custom coloring done throughout uh, with contacts, messaging, pretty much everything, all of the buttons you're going to see are all custom done to a light bluish color theme. It also sets you up to run other themes such as the Eclipse ice cream sandwich theme, things like that. Um, now on to the install. Okay, for the install you're going to need to have your phone, in my case I came from stock with the FP1 update, I went and rooted, and then from there using Clockwork Mod, I flashed my phone with the Eclipse FP1 ROM. It's actually really easy to do once you've got Clockwork Mod installed and you're rooted. Uh, if you need to get to that state, you can go back and watch my other videos. Uh, if you're on a route already that's an older model, you can go ahead and flash to uh, the restore that I have available to you on the video. And then you can go over to the rooting video and that'll take you up to speed so that you're ready to flash. From there, all you got to do is simply download the file. Uh, erase your caches and partitions and flash it. That's it. And uh, we'll walk through those steps together.